Okay, new project time. So it's coming up to Christmas. Um, I'm trying to think of something for my mum. And I remember a conversation that we had where she said, I wish I had a Swiss army knife with a horse's hoof tool in British racing green. So I thought, oh, well, that should be pretty straightforward. Um, have a look around. Well, it turns out that the horse's hoof tool is actually pretty rare. Maybe it was common uh, some years ago or some decades ago because the first uh, Swiss Army knife was made in 1880-something or something like that. But yeah, these days, the horse's hoof tool exists only on this uh, Swiss Army knife. This is a equestrian um, and yeah, I don't like it. It's and, uh, and I don't think my mum would like it either because it's not the classic style uh, which I have come to learn is the ninety one millimeter Swiss Army knife. This is a called one hundred and eleven millimeter. Uh, it's quite big, um, and it has the horse's hoof tool, so that's great. Um, but yeah, it doesn't have anything else that's particularly compelling. What else has it got? It's got the it's got the classic multi, I think they call that the multi-purpose tool, which is, you know, pretty obvious. Uh, and a blade. And is that it? Is that a saw? It's got something. Yeah, it's got a saw. But yeah, my mum's not going to use a saw. Um, she might occasionally use a blade. Uh, but yeah, I, this is not what I want. But I bought one to learn what shape the horse's hoof tool is because it's, like I say, only on this one tool. So the real starting point um, I decided would be the Explorer. Um, this is a so-called one, two, three, four layer uh, tool. And I bought this um, because... I thought the magnifying glass would be really useful for my mum. Uh, she's got short sight, and uh, sometimes it's handy to be able to magnify small things, of course. Um, and it's the smallest, uh, lightest, most minimal tool that has a magnifying glass on it. So that was what I bought, and I thought, and I thought, well, I'll just swap out something else for the horse's hoof tool, and maybe I'll end up making my own horse's hoof tool. Um, my mum is not a horse rider, so she's probably not going to use a horse's hoof tool that often. But hey, it's in the spec. Horse's hoof tool it is. Um, and, uh, you know, it might come in handy for, I don't know, undoing knots or, I don't know, something. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to include a horse's hoof tool on this. So it's going to be a custom build. You'll also note that it is not, it doesn't have its scales. Uh, and that's because um, I bought this from the Victorinox shop. Uh, on Oxford Street in London, uh, which is a very cool shop, and they do all kinds of customizations, and you can even do a workshop there where you can put together a, a one of the smaller mod or simpler models yourself, which is quite cool. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. <laughs> um, so yeah, so so that was the starting point. One of these, and then online, I brought I bought um, a pair of races racing British racing green. Scales and these are the plus scales, which means that you can uh, you can you can have a pen, a uh, toothpick, a needle, or a pin, um, and a pair of tweezers. Um, so yeah, more than the standard. Uh, so so that's that. But is that that? Well, you know. The enemy of any engineering project is feature creep, right? And uh, like any other engineer, I do love a bit of feature creep. So I got think I got to thinking. Well, by the time we're adding a horse's hoof uh, tool and starting to mess around with this, uh, are there any other tools that I wish uh, we would have? And the tool has. Uh, let's just have a quick look at what it's got. So in addition to the um, you know, for a big ticket item of the magnifying glass. It's got the inline um, Phillips screwdriver, which is pretty cool, but my mum doesn't undo a vast number or do up a vast number of screws. So that is probably going to be what we'll sacrifice to get the hoof tool in here. Um, 
It's got the scissors, which I'm sure she'll use a lot. And these are fantastic uh, scissors for a multi-tool. They really work well. I was surprised how well they work. I've actually always never, I've never really liked uh, Swiss Army knives particularly because I, I really prefer locking tools rather than um, slip slip joint tools. But they are really warming on me actually through, through so just playing around and looking at the whole kind of family of, a vast family of lots of different options. Yeah, it's really fun. And I'm, I'm sure this won't be the last uh, custom one I make because I think this is going to be a really fun project. Anyway, digression. So, yeah, it's got the scissors on there. Great. Obviously, it's got um, it's got the knife blade. Uh, yeah, good knife blade. I'm always worried about these things closing on your fingers, but maybe it's not that much of a problem. Um, and, yeah, my mum's more likely to be peeling an orange than, like, really heavily stabbing at some some piece of wood or something. So she's probably unlikely to subject it to very high forces. So I'm not too worried about that. It's also got the smaller knife blade, which I don't know, I think is kind of a bit of a waste of space, really. Um, I know there are some fans out there, but yeah, uh, it struck me that it would be much more useful to have a nail file on here because, yeah, I've definitely seen my mum file her nails and um, it's just, uh, it's yeah, it just seems like a kind of waste of a, an opportunity to have another tool. Why, why have a small version of something that you've, you know, you've already got. Um, so I thought, well, what are our, what are my options for swapping that out for a for a um, nail file? And obviously, there are two options, broadly speaking. Either I make my own nail file, or I uh, purloin one from another Swiss Army knife. Now, I've got a lot of metal working facilities in uh, in my workshop, um, but. One thing I am not equipped to produce is a file. I think that would be a real, <laughs> a real challenge. I could probably make a tool to do it, but I, it's only a few weeks till Christmas, and uh, yeah, let's not get into that. So, what are my choices? I could uh, buy a file and modify it to fit. Uh, I could maybe take an abrasive material of some kind and maybe like inlay it into a, uh, a a blade or something yeah all options all good options but maybe there's a maybe there's a, a another way and there is another way um there are a few uh, so this is a 91 millimeter tool there are a few 91 millimeter tools with files on them not a great number uh but then i came across this thing um beautiful livery on there the uh, the marketing copy for this is hilarious um, I'll, I'll see if I can include it in this video at some point because, oh my god, uh, yeah, uh, this Victoria Knox, oh, they really like, they really think that they're in touch with, in their own words, the modern woman, but yikes, that is some, that is some dodgy copy. But anyway, this tool is brand new, it came out in 2023 uh, in a number of um, quite ugly uh, variants, but don't worry, we're not you know, going to keep this uh, scale, obviously. But what does it have? Uh, it has the blade, It um, but instead of having two blades, it's got um, one blade, uh, one big blade, the same one that I've got on the Explorer, and the nail file. It's quite a good nail file. I've filed my nails with it. It does indeed file a nail. Splendid. So, problem solved. We've got a file. It's going to fit in the same space, obviously. Um, and I can even use the same back spring uh, because it's obviously designed for that, that same pair of tools that I'm going to have. I'm going to have the same blade, the same need, the same file, so I can use the same back spring. And that's another component that I don't have to make. So I can take the blade, I can take the file, uh, sorry, the black back spring. And if it's different, I can also take the blade, of course, uh, from the... This is called the Companion, by the way, the Companion. You can get it in Paris... This is Paris, New York, or an especially ugly wooden variety uh, with Walmart scales. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good opportunity to make some really nice wooden scales. And in my opinion, they look super ugly. They really missed the mark on that one, but um, in my view. But um, anyway, digression. Um, but yeah, yet more... Uh, 
benefits to this because on the Explorer, in addition to the multi-purpose tool, there's also the can opener. Now, my mum is much more likely to open a bottle of beer, since she loves beer, than open a can. There's no way. My mum really doesn't like camping trips, and that's basically the only situation I can imagine. Uh, uh, yeah, you would really want to use a can opener like this. I've used one before on a camping trip. Uh, it's pretty hard work. Um, so, yeah, I'm not a particularly big fan of um, this Tin opener, my mind is going to be even less of a fan. Um, it's nice to have the smaller screwdriver on there. But wait, this thing has, instead of the tin opener, uh, it's got a, a brand new tool, um, which is a box opener. Now, I was already thinking of regrinding this into a box opener because it would be pretty easy to do to open up the uh, inside there and... and um, grind and hone a little uh, u-shaped blade um, but then you'd, you'd have to ask yourself what to do with this hook whether you'd cut cut off the hook or i don't know seems like a bit of a shame to cut off the hook whereas this thing already done for you so it's a nice little serrated serrated edge there um a little piercing uh edge and it's pretty it's pretty pretty sharp it's as sharp as the knife really almost and it's also got this little heel here so that you can ride along the the sort of uh, cardboard of the box with this heel and and cut it open with the blade i think that's really good that's way more useful um and yeah like us all like all of us my mum orders plenty of uh things on the internet and they come in cardboard boxes so that's a winner so great we can take that swap it out for that and we're, we're getting to a pretty nice uh custom knife but wait, there's more. I got to thinking, uh, what other, how much extra feature creep can I jam in here? Um, and somehow, so my mum loves to go walking um, with my dad and they make use of one of these. This is called a radar key. Uh, recently renamed, I think, to an NKS key. And this opens uh, tens of thousands of disabled toilets in the UK. Uh, and yeah, um, my dad's disabled, so they've got one of these keys. And um, I just thought, wouldn't that be awesome to have uh, an NKS key um, coming out of the end of your, your Swiss Army knife so that you you can, uh, you know, go and open your disabled toilet on your on your walk, um, which yeah, I think that's I think that's great. I think the Swiss Army knife should be, and it has the capacity because it's so easy to modify, and there are so many tools in existence. You you can really have one that's just perfect for you. You know, just customized for your exact personality and the sorts of things that you enjoy doing. So. Walking and uh, <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, but using a good toilet, my mum does enjoy a nicely kept, well maintained uh, council toilet, which um, yeah, we are fortunate to have uh, in the UK here and there, um, and a great many of them with this disabled key scheme. So somehow I have to shrink this a bit because um, yeah, it looks kind of commensurate with the knife, but actually, the more you look at it, the harder. This challenge becomes um, the knife. The key is uh, seven millimeters at, at its widest point at this uh, collar here. Um, and yeah, I've got some ideas of how I can thin this down um, and obviously still make it work. And uh, in order to test that it does, in still, does indeed uh, still work after those modifications, I've bought one of these. This is a uh, um, NKS lock. So this is a disabled toilet lock. Um, bought it on Amazon and uh, as long as I get this project done in a month uh, I can return this <laughs> without having to pay for it. It's quite an expensive lock. So um, yeah, hopefully that will pan out. I've bought a bunch of uh, a bunch of keys. There are some these, these ones are a slightly different pattern. Uh, casting, same actual key 
uh, but they're a little bit uh, a little bit shorter. No, they're actually the same length, but yeah. In fact, they only differ in this. Un... It doesn't matter. I, I hoped perhaps uh, you know the casting might be slightly different and might might give me some ideas, but yeah, those are all basically the same. This one came with the lock. This is a NAF quality uh, one. These are brass, so I can easily machine these um, quickly to to get different fits and experiment with the lock. And then when I've got geometry that works and is as minimal as possible, I'll make it in stainless um, to fit in with the other tools in the in the knife. So yeah. That's my uh, evenings and weekends uh, occupied nicely for the coming period. Stay, uh, stay tuned. <laughs>